offer only the best care in New Atlantis. If there's anything you need, please don't hesitate to ask. Welcome to a Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or requirements, medical assistance. Sure we can accommodate you. Hmm. Nurse Osha, 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 whatever, sent me to ask for your help with a medical issue. A medical problem Talia can't solve. I never thought I'd see the day. How can I help? Uh, some children in the well have caught the summer bug and nurse or she uh, needs help diagnosing it. Sick children? Well, we can't have that. I'd be happy to help. Let's see. A stomach bug. I've treated plenty of those. I keep extensive notes. I'm sure I have something that can help. Ah, yes, here we go. This should do the trick. Uh, I've uploaded some of my notes on common stomach issues in pediatric patients to this slave. Please, oh, pass it on to Tali. She can keep it. And give her my best, will you? I hope everything works out for those kids. Me too, man. Ligger det tinga enda, blir det aldri borte, eller? Synes det burde bli borte etter en stund, ass. Så det betyr at uh, på de planetene jeg la fra meg så mye skrot, der ligger det enda masse dritt, liksom. I have the research notes you needed from Dr. Les Lebes Dev. Really? Let's see. Ah, oh, this is perfect. I knew Dr. Lebedev would have what I needed. I'll have this solved in no time with these notes for reference. Thank you so much, dear. Really. I couldn't have done this without you. Yeah. Not a fake your activities, actually. The Haraka activities, actually. The side missions. Men uh, de er liksom så simple og kjappe. Det er ikke noe gøy. Don't take it personal if I don't stop to chat. You're Lots right. To do, not Those people are definitely planning to rob the UC surplus. Damn. I was hoping I had it wrong. <sighs> I guess that settles it. We have to get the authorities involved before they can go through with the robbery. You should take this straight to Officer Endler at the security office. He'll look into it. If he gives you a hard time, tell him I sent you to make the report. That'll get him on your side. We don't need security. I can take care of a couple of petty thieves. No, I don't want you to hurt them. They haven't even done anything wrong yet. The last thing the well needs is more violence. Just do what I asked and take this to Officer Endler. Yeah, I better respect that they will see you, man. Jeg har lyst til å snakke med dem. Vi kan gjøre det som skjer, så vil vi være store skjøtter her. Hei, hvis jeg må fortelle deg å gå ut av her en gang til, pal, du er toast! Jeg vet... Jeg er sikker. Ok, da. Greit da, jeg skal sladde deg i stedet. Well, 
That's what we're here for. What's going on? There's going to be a robbery at the UC surplus. The UC surplus? You sure about that? It's been a long time since someone was stupid enough to rob that place. Theresa Mason asked me to make the report, I'm sure. That's so. <laughs> Nobody in the well is more reliable than Teresa. If she says there's a problem, I believe it. You can tell her I'm personally looking into it. That should ease her mind. Those thieves won't be so cocky with the security on patrol. Okay. You know that was quick. How things go with Officer Emma? I make sure everyone's comfy. I tell it like it is. He said to tell you that he's going to patrol the area himself. Hvor er det jeg har mist? Jeg bare chillet han. Jeg husker ikke akk... Du stakk vel når jeg var ferdig med det der bra missionet. Jeg har egentlig bare gått rundt og hjelpet folk og vært... Hva er det for noe? Journalist. Så nå skal jeg dra tilbake til henne. Og så har jeg hjelpet de andre folka da, mens de er intervjuet. De hadde noen problemer. Så nå er det bare opp og finner seg det, og så blir det action igjen. Fortløpende. Jeg er glad for at jeg ikke har gjort så mye av de activities, ass. For det er ikke så veldig spennende. Hell yeah, brother! Faen, det spillet her gror liksom mer og mer på meg, ass. Eller hva skal jeg kalle det? Grows on you, på engelsk. Men jeg liker det mer og mer. I hvert fall med sånn mye mobility og sånn, sånn som der. Ja, sci-fi Benny Hopping. Du bytte av stol, du satt der i sted. Jeg finner ikke intervju inn i Business Owners in the well for you. Hei, det er bra. Takk så mye. Hvordan gikk det bra? Det ble bra der. Det er derfor at historier som dette er så viktig. Hvis folk visste hva som gikk på der, kanskje de ville vilje å hjelpe til å fikse det. Man skulle jo tro det, men. Jeg sender deg en kopi av historien hvis det blir publisert. Det er ingenting som å se deg navn i print. Jeg er jo den kjendelig snart. Jeg har en følelse at vi vil se deg igjen. Ok. Da har vi nok casual greier unna gjort. Hva er det for noe? Ja, det er ikke noe spesifikt. Det er bare hvis jeg finner noe proof, så kan jeg dra dit. Se her da. Ja, det er ikke så mange aktiviteter faktisk. Influencer next. Det har jeg gjort sånne tester på, det der... Når det gjelder empati og sånt nå, at... Hvis du ser en ad som handler om et barn i Afrika eller sånt nå, altså du får litt backstory på en person, et barn, så er det mye større sjans for at folk gidder å donere noe. Så fort det er to personer, eller tre personer, eller flere, da synker sjansene rett ned i gulvet, liksom, på at folk gidder å bry seg. Jeg vet ikke om det er 100% korrekt nå, men jeg mener det er sånn, at jeg har lest at det er sånn, er sånn eksperimenter. Psykologiske eksperimenter de har gjort. Noen folk. Yeah. Det er sånn der, det var jo, jeg husker ikke, det er lenge siden, men det var... Det var en jente i USA som satt fast nede i en brønn. Og det ble live sendt på TV. Og det hadde liksom så mange seere. Bare for at de kunne liksom, på grunn av storyen, basically, at de kunne... Altså, det var en sånn... 
Det er en narrative som folk liker da. Folk liker bare historier, basically. Og hvis det ikke minner om film, så er det ingen som gidder å se det. Spesielt når det er enkeltpersoner, så er det interesse. Ok, så vi skal snakke med han der Way Victus. Det er faren til Udama. Og vi fant ut at han hadde... Han visste hvordan man lagde Terror Morphs. Så nå skal han få juling av stemmen min. Lett å hjelpe en hel landsbyen. Ja, men det er liksom selektiv empati også da. Det er sånn der... Folk klarer ikke å gjenkjenne seg, med mindre det er liksom en person da. Da er det i hvert fall større sjans for at de kan føle noe som er stempati. Oh boy. Men... Ja, vi vet jo ikke det egentlig. No games, tell me why you committed the tax or I take this straight to the cabinet. Years of coordination between my associate and I, figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian, learning to synthesize it, use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. I saw them one time. I came in there and talked to him. He was there. He looked at me like that. Uh, it's obvious you're angry about what the UC did to you. This is petty revenge, nothing more. Oh, my revenge was far from petty, Captain. The attacks were a correction. When I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found. But we were at war. And I can risk information that dangerous falling. You just said it took you years to use the plant outside Londinian. You killed him for nothing. Oh, that's good. Uh, let's see that. Simple to say now, but with the outbreak raging from a barely understood source, the moment demanded quick action. So I did what was required. I removed the dangerous variable from an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? Also, we no. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter, she becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais. The associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another... Han er egomaniac, han er ass.
Hmm. So you murder the UC citizens because of some slight against your honor? You're sick. Fuck you. If you're waiting for me to say thank you, we're going to be here a while. I hope you enjoyed this talk because once I tell the cabinet it will probably be your last. Never do Men det är er heller inte nobelt att ljuga till en fyr. Alltså han uh, gjorde ju nog rätt men uh, han uh, döpte ju massa folk så och tänker bara på att han ska vara en helt och att hans legacy och bla 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 shut the fuck up. En person liksom. Han är er en person. Nothing more. Men det var dassen da. Yeah. Jeg har nok uh, siktet mig inn på en good guy playthrough her. Uh, en fyr med integritet. Som, jeg, uh, som vi alle kan håpe at man uh, klarer å opprettholde i virkeligheten. Perfekt timing. Vi har bare inn. Så på vår inn, god nyheter. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? Very victims confessed he organized the attacks from his cell. I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew. Who are you, a clone of him? So who are you, basically him? Eller who are you, kid? But but all DNA is also very similar. Tror jeg? Jeg vet ikke om DNA er forskjellig på klonere, jeg regner med at det er likt. Jeg er ikke noe genforsker, ass. <laughs> he, made, he made plenty of grand claims, but deep down he wanted revenge. Killed all those people because of a chip on his shoulder and an obsession with his own status. That sounds like Vevictus. Well, once we inform the cabinet, 
they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. Yeah, we heard of what do you think the camera will do to him? My hope would be that whatever connections he's got to the outside world disappear. Make sure his future schemes and machinations stay in his cell with him. But honestly, I'm not sure. He's in a unique position and has done a special kind of harm to the colonies. I have not thought that it would be right, like. He asked we leave out his involvement in the attack, says to consider the lives he's helped save. I'm sure he did. But he killed dozens of people, and I'm not about to let him get away with something like that. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss, this might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramors. Hmm. No. Oh. Which method of dealing with the Terramorphs are you two leaning towards? Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. <laughs> I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in. See if they have a preference. Uh, so Einstein trodde sikkert ikke at han kom til å hjelpe til med å lage atombomber, liksom. Så... <laughs> uh. What kind of risk are there if they decide to bring back the Achilles? Achilles are hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. Oh, but they've good. already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of they are safe, uh, them to new worlds is minimal. How to save it? Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. What do you think the Cabinet will do when they learn about the way Victus' involvement in the tax? It's hard to know. Unlike my father, the Cabinet aren't butchers. But killing UC citizens, along with everything else he's done, is unforgivable. But if you're really that concerned, you could request they be lenient. Hmm. They might be willing to spare him. No, okay. Uh, let's head there. And here we go. Up to politikerne. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? That's correct, ma'am. It was a deliberate attack. Yes, but don't you worry, we found the culprit. The second report claims to know the perpetrator Boom. as well. Did Reginald <laughs> Orlais actually commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? Mm. That report isn't the whole truth. Orlais helped, but way Victus organized the attacks. It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to. The orders could split us. Access, Chief Sergeant. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough. I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. 
Now that's quite the accusation you're leveling. Considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? Play emergency recorder snippet. Is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, man. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt that Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject, once Jeg har lyst til å spare den for å bli henrettet. Fortsatt. Fortsatt. Yeah, ma'am, our request is life be spared. He did help us against the Thermomorphs after all. I'm not sure I see why someone with UC blood on their hands would merit leniency. But I will note your request when the decision is made. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Starfield 2 så er det garantert noen som vet om det der, der sånn. Altså, bare for at de high, uh, high and mighty politicians uh, er det eneste som vet om det. Uh, ja, det synes jeg også. Mm, Ma'am, I believe the other factions should be involved in securing the Lazarus plant. Tell the Free Star Collective. Wow, so they have another tool to utilize against us? I'm in agreement. I failed to see the value here. For the uh, hemlighet er ikke bra, i hvert fall ikke hvis du skal... It to demonstrate to the collective the UC isn't planning to secretly use this down the line. Ja, den er bra. The UC doesn't exactly have the best track record. This would ensure good behavior from both sides. Yeah, man. A show of good faith now would display a willingness to change. It would be seen as a sign that the secrecy and deception is behind you. Is an interesting idea. A grand gesture to further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So, you want us to make nice with the collective by sharing our state secrets? No, I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions that the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Hmm. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kolkarni. Very well. We'll get the Collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. Hold on, Mero. <laughs> the Cabinet has agreed to yeah, implement the plan uh... to deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Asilis. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asilis are the safer approach. Yeah, to someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. 
Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves. But the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Hmm. Deploying the Aceles is the safest route, that's my vote. I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. The first step in a bold new future. Bolder, better, and brighter. <laughs> well, I need to write that one down for later. Order. No, I keep wrong. <laughs> and Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. Så det er egentlig jeg som styrer hele galaksen, ass. Galaksemannen tar over. <laughs> Alle støtter mine valg, selv om jeg ikke er sjef over noen ting. Hvorfor har de klasses? Fuck you, ass! Jeg håper du også enda er i galaksen, Davey. Det er i melkeveien, vet du. Burde du laste ned cyberen igjen, ass? På grunn av DLC? Ja, jeg har vurdert det også, men... Jeg har nok med det spillet her, ass. Jeg kommer også til å spille dette... ...igjen. Bare uten stream når jeg er ferdig. Tok melker ut da, ja. Hva skjer da, Davey? Vi driver og endrer galaksen her. What's a class one citizen? It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies. Or done great things for its cause. Class ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement. An additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. Sure, I'll take that. Thank you, Madam President. All have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts, spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Ja, det var nok politikk for i dag, gutt. Thomas er slem. Nei, det kan ikke... Det kan ikke skrive det. Bare hvis det er sant. Du må være snill, Thomas. Cyberpunk er spiltere. Jeg skal bare sjekke kjapt hvor mange timer jeg har. Jeg spilte ikke ferdig, men jeg spilte en del. Men det har blitt mye bedre da, har det ikke det? Det er på Steam? Vil du ha det et annet sted? Må være lov å slemme etter klokka etter midnatt? Ja, kanskje. Jeg har det ikke på Steam da, men jeg vet at jeg har det, eller heter det noe annet? Uh, 
Ja. Jeg finner ikke her, ass. Jeg har spilt en del, men jeg rundet det aldri helt 100. Det var litt kult. Mye bedre grafikk og sånn enn det er her, for å si det sånn. Men jeg tror mods fikser det. Hvor... Spurte om han kunne kose meg på ryggen, men han klemmer så hardt at jeg tror jeg dør. Ja... Er det sånne knuter og sånn da, kanskje? Jeg har sett på det på YouTube. På sånne folk som får sånn ordentlig massasje, der de presser ned mellom skulderbladene og sånn, og de ligger der og rister i smerte, liksom. Nå ser jeg da digg ut, da. Jeg hadde lett vært med på det, liksom, for jeg har... Jeg har spilt sånn kanonball med noen folk i går, og jeg stør det hele kroppen, og jeg kjenner... Jeg kjenner knuta bak skulderbladet, liksom. Så godt. Men hvordan er det jeg gjør det class one-greiene? Jeg trenger hus. Thomas gjør sånn og ler når jeg piper i smerte. Ja. Det er nok jævlig vondt, men det er digg å... Altså, jeg hadde gjort alt for å bli kvitt sånne ting, for at det er sånn... Knuter kan liksom gå utover alt i kroppen. Og jeg tror at den knuta, spesielt den ene bak skulderbladet der, er... Faen meg, jeg synes jeg var 16 eller noe, ass. Men jeg har aldri trent heller, så det har vel noe med det å gjøre. Hadde du trøkka bak her nå, så hadde jeg, da hadde jeg faen meg skrike, ass. Informed oss av din nye status. Congratulations on making class one. Great. You're on the wanted list. Hahaha! Det er... ja, ok. Jeg trodde class one, da kunne det være litt kriminelle. Hmm, sure. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you. Det var ikke så heldig gitt. La oss gjøre det her. Easy, easy. Jeg kommer sikkert å, men når jeg er tilbake til denne cyberpunk-greiene, jeg kommer sikkert å spille det også, ass. Kanskje på stream også. Så det har vært gøy å spille det her på stream. Jeg har jo... Jeg har jo drivet jo... Det har vært stress da, for jeg måtte klippe ut episoder og sånt nå, så... Så glemmer du liksom hvem blir broadcast som du var på og alt det der greiene der. Så det har vært litt stress, men jeg har sånn opp... Jeg tror jeg har 45 episoder totalt nå. Og det er utenom de 30 timene jeg har spilt denne uka her liksom. Jeg husker ikke hvor det er jeg. Vurderer du å spare seg hvert du kjøper ny PC i vinter, så kan du komme på max ut av grafikken. Det er nok ikke dumt det. Det er Commander Tuala. Det er ikke det jeg vil. Jeg vil dit hvor jeg var. Er det Mast, kanskje? Kom. 
Crocada ou batola. Damn. Se den har glad Den er helt crazy. Kanskje jeg må snakke med noen her. Er det hun der? Commander Tuala jeg skal snakke med? Well, well. I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. Yeah, yeah. I'm just there to collect whatever is it is this class one thing pays. <laughs> Luckily, I'm one step ahead of you. I've already gone ahead and processed your class one benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credit should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. Penthouse? You <laughs> Rather uh, where's the realty office? Just out the front door and across the plaza by the embassies. Look for the affiliate sign. Okay, cool. Jeg har sett den der, var det ikke Asmund Gold som hadde en video på det? Der var han så sånn klipp uh, annen hver gang eller noe sånt på Cyberpunk og det spillet her. Sånn er det for eksempel. I Cyberpunk så kan du dykke ned og det er dritfint under vannet og sånn. Her sånn så kan du ikke dykke en gang liksom. Nå glemte jeg hva han sa, ja. Jeg glemte seg ut hva han sa, ja. Det må jo være Armistice Archives, da. Tenker jeg. Nei, det er jo de Archives, da. Må lære å like singleplay-spill mer. Ja. Ja, det... Altså, det... Det er ikke noe man lærer seg, altså. Altså, finner du sånn som... Jeg, jeg har aldri... Det har ikke vært noe... Altså, for det første har jeg aldri vært noe singleplay-4. Men så er det også sånn at jeg aldri ikke elsket Oblivion og Skyrim. Så, så lenge du finner et spill du liker, så tror jeg ikke det er noe vanskelig å spille det, ass. Hmm, Da har du bare ikke finnet bra nok spill! Geta er det eneste du har spilt med, eller? San Andreas og Vice City. Vice City var kult. Men jeg spilte det ganske tidlig, da. Ja, vi bare tester om det er her. Nei, det her er Archives, eller? Affilion sign. Har jeg noen quest marker, eller? Mot embassy, sa. Det var en annen vei, da, kanskje. Embassy. Affilion. Det ser ikke akkurat ut som noe penthouse her, da. Eller? 
Her er det man kaller pentas. Det betyr vel bare at det er på toppen, er det ikke det? Good time to make a move. Well, well. If it isn't the United Colony's newest class one citizen, you've made quite a name for yourself. Get a six. That was a good draw. I didn't know that if I'm wrong. The higher ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Hell yeah! Great! You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. But it's mine! Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. Because that guy had fucked this. This was the jävla ut av det bygget. Jag trodde fan men det var huset mitt liksom. Now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. That will be a billion dollars. Building materials added to the ship. Okay. Uh, commercial district. No, residential district. What is that? Må jeg sjekke ut. Nå er jeg questmarker. Håper det er det bygget, ass. Eller det bygget. Vi tester her først. Eller jeg kan jo bare gjøre sånn. Nå er jeg questmarker. Sa dem. Nei, vet du. Ja, det var der. Jeg har ganske mye penger da. Nesten 600k. Det er ikke akkurat sånn at jeg bruker det på så mye, eller? Ok. Å, jeg må møblere inn selv. Da blir det ikke møbler her. Jeg må ha seng, da. Det er det viktigste. God damn! TV, sofa og seng. Der er vi. På Skyrim så er det bare sånn at du kan snakke med en fyr, og så kan han innrede for deg på forskjellige måter, men... PC setup, ja. Du, tenk deg noe VR og sånn tar av. Tenk deg games som det her i VR, liksom. Du går rundt inne hjemme hos deg selv, og så er du i en helt annen verden, og du er med kameratene dine, liksom, som går rundt i penthouse og chilleren, liksom. Det blir sykt. Men hvordan er det jeg... ...setter inn ting? Jeg må sikkert prate med henne igjen da, hun nede. Prøvde Google Earth i VR i dag via PC. Syke greier. Damn. Ja, du har ikke VR-briller. Du har ikke ærlig, ass. Eller jeg har det ikke. Jeg vet ikke om du har det eller ikke. Det er så dyrt. Jeg tror jeg må vente til morgenen, sånn at hun sitter i disken der. På jobben, ja. Ja, for du har jo dette de der LAN, eller de setupsa dine. Ja, jeg venter egentlig bare på at den teknologien blir bedre og billigere, ass. 
Ja, hvor er hun som... Så er det liksom. Ja. Ja, du har den her, du viste meg den setupen du har på biblioteket der. Ja, ah, vi får ta det huset senere. Vi må gjøre et par quests til før kvelden her, altså. Men ah, jeg er helt ferdig med det Thermorph-grønne. Det var litt kjedelig, altså, at det var så fort over. Det liker jeg, ass. Det var liksom, jeg følte det var bare begynnelsen på en syk questline. 4,5 k for ett set, pluss 1800 i batteripakke og bedre strap. Og så er det rundt 300 per spill i snitt. Ja. Nei, jeg orker, altså, jeg skjønner ikke hvorfor folk kjøper enkelte spill en gang, ja. sånn som beta-spill og alt mulig sånt. Nei, jeg er helt sikker på det at eneste måten å... Altså, det handler bare om å tjene masse penger, og de bare øker priser på alt i spill og alt hele tiden. Altså, folk må begynne å boykotte ting, ass. Helt seriøst, liksom. CS er gratis, så det går ikke under noen av de kategoriene der. Sure. But are you sure this Aceles creature is the right way to do it? Germs Midden Lab sounds way slow as the wins the race as they say. I can understand that line of thinking, but even when talking about a species like the Terramorph, this decision means the Terramorphs will remain a threat for years to come, if not longer. And that is assuming it works at all. Altså, når det gjelder det greiene her sånn, jeg hadde ikke kjøpt det spillet her sånn om ikke jeg var jævlig fan av sånne type spill. Skyrim og Oblivion er liksom, det er det beste spillet for meg. Men sånn objektivt sett så er det spillet her sånn, altså Bethesda, de har på en måte skuffet. Fordi de legger ut et spill som har så mye bugs og det virker litt sånn halvferdig. Grafikken er ikke bedre enn Cyberpunk i det hele tatt liksom. Den er ikke i nærheten av Cyberpunk engang. Og så det er det akkurat som at de bare forventer at community med moddere skal fikse spillerums form, liksom. For eksempel, da. Det er, det er bare så mye som piss i denne gaming-industrien, ass. Yes. Uh, I still think I made the right call. I see your point, maybe you're right. No, I still think I made the right call. I appreciate your conviction. I suppose time will tell. And... I must say, I find it curious that you would agree keeping the Lazarus plant around is a good idea. It seems an additional, unnecessary... Agree I to that? The UC was going to keep it around anyway. But you could have changed their minds. They would have listened to you. Faen, da gjorde jeg noe feil, da. The Star Collective will also know of its existence. Otherwise, I worry it would be too tempting for the UC to use as a weapon. Well, it is good to know that this particular threat is behind us, and you have done a service to all who live in the settled systems. <laughs> det där uh, terror morph grene, det är uh, det minner mig bara om nukes ass. Är som Største våpenet. Let's get going. Nå begynner jeg å bli redd for at det ikke er så mye igjen å spille, ass, utenom story. 
Bon, blast que force. Security. Cares far more about what you take with you when you leave me on than what you bring in. Jag tränger med content. Jag har bara spelat 60 timmar liksom. Vi har bara businessman lite. Du skulle ge han bara snacka att man är var i den här constellation lodgen. Ja, trenger det. En svær krig, ass. Altså, jeg har jo allerede vært i en type svær krig med det der Crimson Fleet-folka. Det er liksom det største. Ja, la meg bussere deg. 